Hi everyone. Hope all of you are doing safe at this time of pandemic and welcome back to one of the videos of Uncle Rupi where I will be talking about an important announcement that has been made by SEBI last week about multi-cap funds. I'll be using a couple of terms related to the mutual fund industry. So in case if you have any questions regarding those terms, you can um, text me, ping me or you can write on the comment section. I can, I can help you with that. So coming to the mutual funds related to the multi-cap fund in particular. A lot of investors, especially those who have invested in multi-cap funds are in a dilemma or they're confused as to whether I should keep my money there in the multi-cap fund or whether I should stick out my money or I should switch between different funds. What should I do? So here we go. Just to give a small brief about multi-cap funds. Well, multi-cap funds uh, can include large cap, small cap or mid-cap funds. So till now, multi-cap funds had a minimum of 65% of its total assets in equity related instruments. It can have six, minimum 65% of its asset either in small cap, either in large cap equity or either in mid cap equity. There was no limit on the percentage of equity whether it comes to large cap, small cap and mid cap when it came to holdings in a multi cap fund. So the change that has been made is that instead of 65%, there would be 75% of total assets in equity in the multi cap fund category. Not only that, there is a rule that minimum 25% has to be large cap, minimum 25% has to be mid cap and minimum 25% has to be small cap under the multi cap fund category. That is the difference that has been made. This change is said to be effective from February 2021. And on thinking about this, a lot of investors are thinking whether they should keep their money in the multi cap fund or not or whether they should switch their fund, whether they should take out their money from the multi-cap fund, what should they do? If you are someone who is risk averse, who is very scared to take risk, switch your multi-cap fund to either a large cap or there is a category called large and mid-cap category. Switch your funds to either of them. If you think that you can take risk or if you, if you are planning to keep your money for a longer period of time, say 10 to 15 years, you can keep your money in, in the multi-cap fund. But because of this reason, there is also the thing in the mind of investors that they should start investing in small cap funds or mid cap funds because their valuation will obviously tend to rise. Why will the valuation tend to rise? The valuation of small cap funds would rise because they would be purchased by the fund managers to meet the criteria of fulfilling the 25% in the multi cap fund category. So these fund managers would be buying more of the small cap fund to meet the criteria. And because of this, there would be increase in the valuation of the small cap funds. And on seeing this, a lot of investors would be thinking that, oh, okay, I should invest in small cap funds. I should put a lot of money in small cap funds because I know that that value will tend to rise in the near future. But remember, not only you are thinking about this, in fact, most of the people would be thinking the same thing. So there would be a lot of people who would be doing the same thing. That is buying of small, of, uh, small cap funds. So beware when you take that decision because small cap funds are very risky. They are mostly, mostly comprised of companies that are startups and who have just started. So beware when you take that decision. Not only this, there has been a lot of discussions which are going on about uh, what would the companies, AMCs, that is the asset management companies would be doing regarding this scheme, whether they would approach SEBI and ask for a change in this kind of rule or regulation. The debate is still on. So let's see what still holds for us. But don't panic. Don't take any hasty decisions. Don't take any quick decisions. Just stay calm and don't invest blindly in any small cap or mid cap with this if you think that this video was really helpful do like my channel do share my video do subscribe to this channel called uncle rupee and if you need any help regarding any of the terms which are used in this video you can message me directly you can write in the comment section and i'll definitely help you out thank you so much do follow my instagram and facebook handles as well thank you Bye bye